Hey guys and gals, I'm Pal and welcome back to Pikmin! Yesterday we got three ship parts and I lost 400 Pikmin between five takes and a half an hour. But today we're going to try and shoot for three more parts. And we have to deal with Wallywogs. Oh no. Oh no. Uh, well it's actually not as bad as you think because I came up with a strategy to deal with the three Wallywogs that we have to face today. And let me show you our game plan for today. Well, let me grab Pikmin before I do so. Okay, we need 85 blues. There we go, 85. And I need 15 yellows. And there we go. And there we go. Now let's go ahead and have them pluck the grass right here. There we go. And we will swarm the Pikmin on the grass, so hopefully the, it'll have some nectar. Maybe. There it is. There's some. And any more? Please? Please? No. Okay, let's have them do this. Now, we have... Let me pause here. Okay. We have to get this ship part, which it, we just have to construct a bridge and defeat one Wally Bog and... Wally Bog? <laughs> Wally Wog, an open compact to get. Uh, this, this one is guarded by two Wally Wogs, and it has a gate right here that we just have to take out, and then it's ours. This one is guarded by those same two Wally Wogs, and we can just waltz in and take it. And also, this one is guarded by virtually no enemies, but we can't bring it all the way back here because we need bomb rocks. Now, my strategy for the Wally Wogs is to defeat this one with open combat. If we manage to do that without, while sustaining few losses, I can take out these two using bomb rocks, because I found out that you can actually kill one Wally Wog with two bomb rocks. So, that's my plan. Hopefully it'll work. Okay, how far away are you? Okay, he's coming up. Okay, let's let's we have to kill these enemies first. And this this puffy blowhog, we just have to corner and make sure that he doesn't make us trigger the uh the bull bear and just bring him to the ground and swarm him and he's dead. There we go. He didn't even get put up a struggle. Okay, we have we have Pikmin that are separated from the group and they're over there. Okay, let's whistle them. Now for the bull bears, just use the rear rush strategy, and you can take them out in no time. There we go. Sustaining no deaths except for one death because of a glitch. Wonderful. Their dying animations kill Pikmin like no nobody's business, so yeah. This guy's harder because we have to come at him from kind of the side, but he's not that hard. Uh, just as long as I can kill him. Kill him. Good. Did he kill anyone with death animation? I think we, yeah... Also, they can kill you by, just by you battling them. They can push you below the surface or push the Pikmin below the surface. So, yeah. This game is actually pretty glitchy. And uh, two takes ago, this is... I, I've probably done at least 20 takes of this this day. Uh, but don't jump. Don't jump. Don't jump. Oh, he started to jump. His sound effect played. But anyway. Okay. Um, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. Two takes ago, I... Um, I had so much lag. Like, this game was laggy. This was the laggiest I've ever seen this game. Or, actually, a GameCube game, for that matter. Um, this was so laggy that we probably had about... What is this? Is this the 30 frame per second game? I think it is. Uh, but we probably had half the amount of frames. It was just bad. So many frame drops, and it was just laggy as all get out. Okay, so let's go ahead and have them build this bridge. Uh, whistle these guys and have them build this bridge. Now, here is our ship part. Right here. It is the Gluon Drive. Using the quark bending, uh, quark binding metaphysical properties of gluons, this device, well, it's very scientific. I don't fully understand it myself, but it was very expensive. Once again, it sounds like Olimar is ripped off, and he doesn't want to admit it. Huh. So, uh, starting off, we're going to have these Pikmin, these yellow Pikmin, carry these bombs, and we're going to have them take down the gate a little bit. And there is an armored cannon beetle over there, which we'll hopefully be taking care of tomorrow. Okay, let's go this way and throw those four Pikmin onto the gate. One, two, three, four... There we go. Well, two of them didn't drop their bombs, so 
There we go. And uh, you drop your bomb. There we go. Sheesh. The Pikmin AI in this game, as I've been playing going through this LP, it's become increasingly frustrating. Like Pikmin will just not do what they're supposed to do. Like as you're walking, they'll just randomly attack an enemy when you're not even telling them to do that. Sometimes they'll just start picking up a sh uh, uh, not a ship part, but any item. They'll start trying to pick it up. Other times they'll just run right into danger, and it just it's just dumb. Sometimes they don't come when they're called. I think I think that Pikmin 2, the sequel to this game, of course it would be a sequel, is where'd those other two go? Where do those other two go? Where? We had 15. Where are they? What? Um. Okay, apparently the other ones died. Whatever. That was weird. I just randomly lost two Pikmin. Did I not have two when I came over here? Huh. Well, another, another example of this game just being glitchy. Yeah, Pikmin 2, the sequel of this game, I'm thinking that it's superior just because it's not nearly as glitchy. Like, this game is glitchy as all get out, and it is annoying. Alright, uh, I know for a fact that we just need one Pikmin to take out this gate. So let's do that. And hopefully that'll allow us to get another ship part. And there's the game lagging. Wonderful. This game is just much, much too laggy to be... Like, I'm not sure if it's the fact that I'm playing it on my Wii. There it goes again. It's just random and really weird. I do not get it at all. Okay, come on. There we go. Okay, actually, we have a lot of a lot of bomb rocks to kill those things off. Actually, let's go ahead and do this. Um, from my experience with the previous takes, the game's going to be laggy for just a little bit longer. It should clear up in a second or two. There it goes. Okay. So there, there, it's gone. Okay, this this part, the gluon drive needs 50 Pikmin to carry. So let's go ahead and mash. I'm gonna go ahead and mash A as fast as I can. I wish I could mash A faster. There are some people I know that can that have like timed themselves for mashing A, and it's crazy how fast they can do it. They can do it like 14 times a second, which is just insane. Okay, Wallywog, it only takes two bomb rocks to kill you. Come here. Good. There we go. He will throw. Throw it. Throw it. Oh, missed. Okay, come here. There we go. There we go. Run, 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 run. Throw it, throw it, throw it, throw it, throw it. Good. Okay. We got one more. And what are you doing? I'm not done with you yet. Come here. Oh, the other one turned to look at me. And throw it, please. Throw it, throw it. Kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him. Yeah! No! Okay, good. He would have actually killed my Pikmin, even though he was actually dead. Come here. Is he gonna jump? Come on. Jump. There we go. And there's my ship part while I'm holding a bomb rock Pikmin. That's bad. And there's our glue on drive, so I have to hold A. Okay, that's bad. Glue on drive. I have no idea how this works, but it means the dolphin will... Uh, again, lift off with its characteristic roar. And 22 30. Holding A. 3, 2, 1. There. Okay. Uh, throw one here. Throw one he here. Throw one here. Here's my bomb rock. And throw it. Throw it. Just gonna drop it. That's good enough. There we go. One more. Come here. I'm not done with you yet. Throw it at him. That did not work. Come here. Bomb. Dude, come here now. Huh. Get over here. Thank you. Huh. Okay, Pikmin makes me very impatient. No. I have one chance. I have one chance. One chance. Okay. He'll throw it. He'll throw it. Throw it. Throw it. Throw it. Throw it. Yeah. Okay. Now we can go back and put all of our yellow Pikmin away since we don't need them at all anymore. So let's do that. Uh, I don't want to carry any. I don't want them to carry anything. Now let's put them away and get all blues. Okay, this day is going pretty well. 
It could have gone faster. Those those uh, Wallywogs could have gone faster, but that's fine. Okay, once those are away... Are they away? They're almost away, and... 83, good. Now I'll take the rest out of blues, and let's head out. Come on. Oh boy. It's kind of coming down to the wire. I have three sh or two or three ship parts to get, and not very long to do that in. Okay. Come on, guys. Are they all with me? They are. Good. And uh, how did... Okay, I lost a Pikmin. Just walking. How did that even happen? This game is really glitchy, especially in this area, apparently. Whoa! Swooping stitch bug. Startle me, buddy. Okay, this needs 25 parts. This is the pilot seat, but I'll throw Pikmin on it first before we bio it. 25. And at last, my pilot seat. Once I get this installed, my cockpit will finally be back in order. Soon, my ship will be starting to look more and more like the dolphin of old. Ah, the memories. All right, uh, now what we want to do next is kill these guys. And they are dead, even though we lost two Pikmin, but that is fine. I am actually fine with that. Now what we want to do is we want to put uh, about 30 Pikmin on this so that we have... Oh, he startled me. You, he startles me a lot. Okay, we want to put 30 on this until we have... Whoa, he warped. Do you guys see that? He warped. That was amazing. Okay, we want to have exactly 30 at this gate. Hopefully he can't pick them up. I don't think he can when they are um, at a gate. I just don't think they he can. So that's good. Uh, the rest... Uh, oh, oh yeah, he can take it that way. So we... Yeah, okay, sweet. So we don't even need this taken out. Neat. I'm happy about that. Uh, let's go guard this. We need to put more... Okay, fine. I'll kill these guys. Uh, there we go. He's dead. There we go. Okay, that's fine. I don't mind. Let's go ahead and make sure that he gets back. Is he going to run into one of them? No, he's not. He's good. He's free and clear. Good. There's another ship part gotten. Now, the other one is up here. Let's go. Hurry. We have 40 Pikmin. That is just enough. That flower guy will keep catch up. Now, this... It's funny. Um, one of the previous takes, I thought that we needed yellow Pikmin to get this, but obviously... We're in the middle of water. Why? How would we get yellow Pikmin? Just funny. Okay, let's throw all of our Pikmin up here. Mashing A as fast as I can. And... There we go. Jump up. Now, while this is happening, I know that Pikmin is not the, the most opportune time to talk about something. But YouTube just announced something new. And you're probably thinking, oh no. But no, this is actually really cool. A tip jar. YouTube just announced that they're making a tip jar feature, so, like, you guys could give me money. <laughs> I'm not asking you guys give me money, but you guys could, like, if you had a favorite LP here, you guys could donate money to him between $1 and $500. I really like that. Also, it's a way to pay for services. So, say I had um, an art channel f do some Photoshopping for my, for my channel. I could pay them money through the tip jar. That's really neat. Pilot, okay, pilot seat. Picturing this in the cockpit, images of me lifting off into space begin to fill my taxed brain. It fills me with inspiration once again. 23 of 30. Okay, now this part right here is the number two Ionium jet. And nothing more than that. I found my number two Ionium jet. It's easy on the eyes and its fuel efficiency is easy on the budget. Okay, there we go, and... Let's go ahead and throw one more Pikmin on this. Whoa! Blowhog. Uh, where did you... Okay. Whatever. Uh, can you guys escape him fast, please? Let me throw one Pikmin on, on there. Go faster, please. Okay, good. Now let's go help out that other part that they are taking it down the gate for. 14 Pikmin is a good boost to towards it. And actually, we're going to be able to get four parts today. Oh my word, that's good. I never thought in all of my takes that I'd be able to do it. I, I said I wanted to do it. I really did want to do it, but I didn't think I'd actually be able to do it. Very, very nice. This is the Zirconium Rotor. This is made from rust-proof zirconium, which is particularly suited to making spaceship parts. I had to pay a lot extra to have this installed, and I suspect the mechanic overcharged me. Once again, Olimar's getting overcharged for stuff. Okay. Now, 
these things are kind of glitching, it's funny. Okay, let's go ahead and pick up the rest of our stuff. Why can't I access... Okay, I can't access the map. That was weird. I couldn't access the map for a moment. Oh, oh, it's because I was plucking a Pikmin. You... Okay, yeah, I was going to say, if you get stuck there... I, I thought they were saying, well, you have to you have to destroy this gate. I'm like, no, 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 no. That's not how it works. They could have taken it the other way. That's one thing I have noticed. Uh, sometimes they don't pick the best routes, and they're... Like, for example, that thing where we had to build the bridge. Now, common sense says you could just put blue Pikmin on the, um, the gluon drive and have them carry it through the water. But actually, they won't do that. They'll get, uh, they will act as if you have to, to take down the bridge in order for them to pass. And that's not how it should work. They could just normally do that, which is dumb. Okay, uh, the ads for the, these, jet, these jets boast that with... Excellent mileage that's easy on your family budget. This jet will keep your wife smiling and propel you to a happy home life. I'm not sure how a jet can do that. And once again, he... Whoa, those Pikmin were stuck inside the gate. That's cool. Oh, I know how that happened. Oh, that's such a cool glitch. Okay, what happened was... um, You know how the... The swooching... Swooching? The smooching snitch bug, the swooping snitch bug was um, kind of phasing through that gate. Well, what he was trying to do is he grabbed two uh, blue Pikmin and he threw them actually into the gate. And what had happened was they didn't get planted because the gate was there. And instead, they uh, they got stuck. That was, that was really cool. Okay, um, I have 143... Uh, wait... Okay, I have 90-some blues. Let's get more yellows. No, let's get more reds. Okay, let's get more reds. We have just enough time that we can get those bull bears with the reds. There we go. And there's the zirconium rotor. And then we'll grab some reds and those blues, and we will collect everything. That This day has gone surprisingly well. I don't think I could replicate this if I tried. Zirconium rotor. Made of rust-proof zirconium. It is as shiny as new, despite being left out in this planet's harsh elements. 25 of 30, guys. 25 of stinking 30. That's the most language you're ever going to hear on this channel. And let while they catch up, let's go ahead and that guy's sliding. Let's go ahead and put everybody on these pellets. And on this bull bear. And on this bull bear. Hopefully that snitch bug won't do anything. I don't really care if he does, because we can just pick the Pikmin up tomorrow. Okay, well, the countdown's going to come any second now. Let's make sure I have no stragglers. Okay, there's the countdown. Any stragglers? None. Okay. I'm happy. I'm extremely happy. Okay, come here. Okay, more Pikmin can carry that. 20. Good. Because because the uh, hitboxes of the... Um, of the bull bears are so big, it's really hard to get 20 Pikmin on them. And there we go! Wow! Okay, just a second, I'm gonna pause. Wow! We did it! We got four parts! We got four parts! This is the most productive day we've had so far! Oh my word! That went surprisingly well. Okay. 15 takes definitely paid off. That was very good. I don't care that my commentary was a little bit stressed and uh, stretched out. I am very, very happy with that. Now I'm just, <laughs> I'm really hoping that this, that this episode, this recording didn't glitch because wow, happy day. Four parts. And I don't know how many deaths we had, but it's probably not that many. Maybe 20, which I'm happy with. I'm good. Wow. Okay, let's see. Good deal. Nine days since impact. If I can just find five more parts, the dolphin will be fully rebuilt. But time has grown short. I must not flag in my search. Even if I can, cannot recover every piece, I will not give up. Surely some of these parts aren't absolutely necessary. I can almost see my smiling family. Oh, wow. We only lost 11 Pikmin. But they were all yellows, almost. So, I need more yellows. Wow! 49 Pikmin sprouted today! 11 Pikmin lost! We have 181 reds, 75 yellows, 
and 121 blues. We have 25 parts, 25 parts remaining, and 21 days remaining to get them all in. I release new episodes of Pikmin Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, and for some reason I'm posing while talking about this. And tomorrow, we will get the last of the parts in the distant spring. This is one of the last few days, guys. We only have maybe three days left until we have everything. Wow. I didn't think that would happen. I did not think we would get four parts. I, I hoped, but I didn't think we'd get four parts. <laughs> it, it would actually be really, really, really funny if we got three parts and I just didn't notice. And I think that we got four. But no, we got four. Pardon if I go on a tangent, but we got the seat cushion, the zirconium rotor, glue on drive, and ionium. Yeah, we got four. Oh, man. We have 377 Pikmin in total, and I'll see you guys tomorrow for another Pal Plays Pikmin, where we'll wrap up the the incredibly hard and glitchy di uh, distant spring, which it should be called Glitchy Spring, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good night. Sleep tight.